This program includes dramatic reenactments of scenes which depict real events and contains material which is intended for George Bush. So welcome to the show. Today, more drugs are coming into America than ever before. We have the best intelligence in the world. We could stop anything we want to stop. You still may know little about the CIA's involvement with drug lords. Happened in Vietnam. Happened in the Iran Contra affair. This was a, a multi billion dollar business. Even more menacing, the CIA have gone into the drug trade and are trying to take over the government. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funny. In the war on drugs, which side is the CIA on? When you think crack, don't think black. When you think crack, think CIA. Crack. The CIA. Crack. The CIA. Crack. The CIA. Crack. The CIA. Christopher Simpson is an author and professor at American University, Washington, D.C. The CIA's uh, operational directorate, in other words, that's their covert operations, paramilitary, dirty tricks, call it whatever you want, has for at least 40 years that we can document, paid for a significant amount of its work through the sales of heroin and cocaine happened in Vietnam, it happened in Afghanistan, it happens in South America, it happened in the Iran-Contra affair. In 1987, Oliver North was investigated for his role in a covert drugs for arms operation. The Iran-Contra hearings proved that the CIA smuggled cocaine to fund the Nicaraguan Contra army. The intelligence agencies of this country, by God, should be involved in this battle instead of working with the scum of the earth, which they've been doing. Former DEA agent Saleh Castillo discovered the CIA drug smuggling operation at Ilopango Air Force Base, El Salvador. When I started seeing all this, I started documenting and writing reports. And then I was forewarned by my supervisor that if I kept it up, I was going to kick the other country and send back because I was making waves. When I approached the ambassador in El Salvador and I told him, look, the contrast here at Ilopango Airport, your airport, they're flying drugs. They sell it, my hands are tied. It's a code operation being run by the White House. There's nothing I can do about it. And I was devastated because I was, first of all, trying to justify what they were doing. I said, there's got to be a catch to this. There's something here that's not right. Well, we were complicitous as a country in narcotics traffic at the same time as we're spending countless dollars in this country to try to get rid of this problem. It's mind-boggling. See, we go back. Every drug trafficker that was flying for the Contras were all documented in DEA files, and yet they were getting U.S. visas to fly to the U.S by the Central Intelligence Agency. Many of the planes from Ilopongo were landing at Mina Air Force Base in Arkansas. Arkansas journalist Mara Leverett investigated the drug smuggling operation. A tremendous volume of cocaine was coming into the state. People wanted to know what was happening in Mina in Arkansas, and so a good deal of information had come to light. Arkansas had been the home base for this major international drug smuggler, and he had been able to operate without being stopped. In January 1986, Barry Sill was subpoenaed by the Arkansas Grand Jury investigation of the Mina connection. He became a government informant. My top load paid me one and a half million dollars for a single trip. Because of the CIA connections and the federal involvement in that operation, no investigation of Barry Seal or anyone connected with him was ever going to be allowed to go anywhere because if any part of that operation were brought to light, it might tumble the whole house of cards. Before he could testify about his role in the CIA drug operation, Barry Sill was gunned down in cold blood. Here's, by any definition, the biggest major drug kingpin we've ever run into, and uh, nobody seems to know a thing about it, and nobody wants to raise it. I don't know if we've got the worst intelligence system in the world. I don't know if we've got the best and they knew it all and just overlooked it. But no matter how you look at it, uh, something's wrong. Something is, is really wrong out there. 
Former cop Mike Rupert was forced out of the LAPD for investigating police ties to CIA drug trafficking. I am a former LAPD narcotics detective. I worked South Central and I saw the hands-on working relationship, the interface between local police departments and the CIA. What we saw was a deliberate effort by the agency to make sure that large quantities of the cocaine, the high quality cocaine, got into the inner cities like Los Angeles. After a report in the San Jose Mercury News, CIA Director John Deutsch was forced to confront allegations of drug dealing. I had confronted CIA Director John Deutsch at Locke High School. He had come to Los Angeles to talk about allegations of CIA dealing drugs. Deutsch knew exactly what was going on. What he didn't realize was the fact that that many people were going to show up. Sir, the man in the, in the uh, leather jacket. I, I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. The room exploded. What I saw at that time was that there was a crying lack of knowledge in the body politic about how much evidence there really was about the criminal activities of the Central Intelligence Agency, specifically dealing drugs. Director Deutsch, I will refer you to three specific agency operations known as Amadeus, Pegasus, and Watchtower. I have Watchtower documents heavily redacted by the agency. I was personally exposed to CIA operations and recruited by CIA personnel who attempted to recruit me in the late 70s to become involved in protecting agency drug operations in this country. I have been trying to get this out for 18 years and I have the evidence. If you have information about CIA illegal activity in drugs, you should immediately bring that information to wherever you want, but let me suggest three places. The Los Angeles Police Department. <laughs> It, it, it is your choice, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Inspector General, or an uh, office of one of your Congress uh, persons of this. What was the big deal? He came up here, he sat there, and he lied to the American people. Let me say something else. If this information turns up wrongdoing, if it turns up wrongdoing, we will bring the people to justice and make them accountable. He came, he went, and nothing ever happened. First of all, there, there, there is no such thing as the war on drugs. There never has been and never will be. There are currently, right now, in the United States, 60,000 active open cases of police corruption and that's due to drug money. Drug money has been integral to the CIA covert operations practically from the beginning of this agency. These are very serious allegations that are being leveled and they go to the heart of our of our nation and and if if all of the people who have spoken today telling their own piece of what they have been able to assemble uh, have been are, are wrong. Somebody needs to shut us up.